Hello internet people, this is Meteor Bolt, about to strike with episode 5 of my playthrough of Skyward Sword HD. Now, uh, last time I got a little bit lost here in Skyview Temple, but uh, hopefully I'll do a little better this time. Still all out of ammo for the slingshot, which seems like a problem. Oh, here's some ammo. Perfect. I just need to find those actual bushes. I hate those spiders, so I'm gonna avoid those at all costs. Let's see if I can find more of those bushes. Here's a bush. The grass doesn't seem to have anything in it. But the bushes. The bushes do. These are cool bushes. Like, if they were real, I would get some and put them in my house. Well, not inside the house. Well, unless I found a really big pot that they would thrive well in. Uh, anyway, uh, I think I will just go ahead and hit this crystal switch and open up this door, presumably. Yep. It looks like the type of place I might have to battle something. Yep. The big scary purple-eyed skeleton. <laughs> Gotta remember to time, oh, time my shield. Your shield broke. Oh my goodness. Why did my shield break? What is the point of having a shield if it breaks like that? It was probably on the last way. Looks like the way it's holding its swords, it uh, forces me to do a certain kind of slashes. Okay, looks like we took care of it. And its soul reconstituted itself as a treasure chest. Cool. That's probably not what really happened. Oh, you got the beetle, the unexplained power. Huh, that's an interesting explanation. Explaining that it's unexplained. Contained within this insect-shaped item allows you to control it as it flies through the air. Point the cursor where you want it to go and press ZR to send it soaring. Hmm. Sounds like it might be tricky to control that thing with the motion controls. You have acquired a new item. Analysis of this object's insect-like profile and wings indicates it can fly. After launching it, you can remotely pilot the device. The sharp structure on the front of the device can sever threads and deliver a blow to smaller objects. Press ZR to ready the device for takeoff, and press right to learn more about its operation. Okay. I'm pointing it and letting it fly. Ah, okay, it's not too bad with the motion controls. I wonder how far I can go with it. I can just keep on going indefinitely. And break all these strings. Oh, I can only hit one thing. Apparently I can only hit one thing with it and then it returns to me. Oh, the door behind me locked. So apparently I need to use this thing to escape. That's fine. I'm glad I can cut spider webs with it. It's good to have things that can cut spider webs. I can go perhaps in here. Uh, apparently 
think I have a time limit. All right, let's try this again. And, oh, maybe if I just circle back and hit the switch again, the door will open. Looks like that worked. Cool. Now, my shield broke, so I'm wondering if I can return to the surface and get myself a new one. Can I return to the surface? Let's see, I can go outside. Hmm, and then return to the surface. Is it worth it? All right, I'm gonna do that, but possibly, possibly I'll be editing this out for the viewers because going back to the surface to get a new shield sounds really boring. Well, not that boring, but too boring. Something's happening. Master Link, when you hit that goddess cube with a skyward strike earlier, I was able to detect a resulting energy reaction above the clouds. The location I have marked on your map indicates the spot where I sensed an energy reaction. Okay, so that's good. Apparently, it tells me where the treasure chest is that I unlocked. I advise you to investigate the area around this location. Okay, why don't we go there now? After we look at the map and see where that is. It's there, so... Hang on, hard right. my landing. Okay, here we go. Okay, looking for a treasure chest. Aha! It's a very divine looking treasure chest. You made your adventure pouch bigger. You can now fit an additional item inside. I had a feeling this, this one was going to be important. But how did that treasure chest know I had an adventure pouch and that I needed it to be bigger? That is confusing. I think this is a side quest I can do later, so I'm yeah. gonna do it later. Alright, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was gonna go get a new shield. Boy, Skyloft is kind of far away. Why did they have to make it so far away? I want to see what that is over there. But I'll do more exploring up here later when I have more 
when I get further in the story, because I have a feeling that most of the stuff I can do here is not open to me yet. Okay. Pumpkins! Pretty sure this is the first time we've seen pumpkins in a Zelda game. Okay, go into the bazaar. Aha! That's a wooden shield. You can use it to block and repel attacks. You must be careful though, as it will break if it takes too much abuse. Oh, and don't forget about fire. It will burn quite easily. It's an unfortunate property of wood. It can be yours for 50 rupees. Care to buy it, friend? Okay. You got a wooden shield. This light wooden shield breaks easily and can burn, so be careful how you use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Durability. Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe I can upgrade it with Gondo. Let's see. Aha! Oh yeah. Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. I can use the stuff you find to upgrade your gear and make it even stronger. And if your shield takes a beating, no worries, I can fix that too. So what'll it be? Upgrade gear? <laughs> you got it! These are all the items you have that I can upgrade right now! Oh, my slingshot can be upgraded. Mm, I don't have any jelly blobs. And I need jelly blobs and dust relics for this. Okay, never mind. I'll just use the basic dumb, stupid shield. Hold on now, you changed your mind? Well, in all the... Uh, it's fine. Come see me whenever you change it back, little buddy. Sometimes it's hard to remember how I did certain voices. So, they may sound different from time to time. Anyway, we shall return to the giant green light coming out of the clouds. Wow, that looks really pixelated. A report, Master. It is possible to descend to a specific bird statue on the surface after you have already visited it and I have memorized its location. To do this, point to the area you want to descend to with the cursor and press A to confirm your destination. Okay, I want to go to right outside the temple. Hmm. It says Forest Temple, but its actual name is Skyview Temple. Weird. Of course, the name Forest Temple sounds very familiar to me from other Zelda games. Take that, bat. It was probably an evil bat, so it's okay that I killed it. Thanks, spiderwebs.
Down, dead ahead, avoid the bad guy. Okay, now that I'm out here, I'm looking for something that I couldn't open before because I didn't have the beetle. To see. Ah, here, here we go. I'll try and uh, I'll try and break this thread. See if there's anything good in this box. Oh, I need to be further away apparently, or maybe point it higher up. You can only descend at or ascend at a certain rate. Ooh, a fairy! Can I catch it in a bottle? Ah, uh, oh, yeah, R is my pouch. Yes, I can! You caught a fairy! This playful sprite replenishes six of your hearts. If you put it in a bottle and keep it with you, it will come to your aid automatically if you run out of hearts. Very useful thing to have in any Zelda game as a fairy. Most Zelda games, you put them in bottles. In Breath of, Breath of the Wild, you just catch them. You just catch them and hang on to them somehow, not in a bottle. Let's see if. Hang on, I hear a bad guy. I better fight off all the bad guys. Okay. Let's we'll see if this goes anywhere. There's an item I can use. Oh, more bats attacking me. Dang. At least this one gave me a claw. Okay, how about... Oh, how about this box? Maybe this box has something in it that's useful. 20 rupees? Interestingly, there's an actual currency in the world called rupees, but it's absolutely nothing like the rupees from this game. Aha! door? I think so. I don't think I can go back up through there now. And let's go ahead and collect that. Oh, and break these spider webs while we're at it. Okay, let's see. Uh... I can go through that door, but I can also hit this switch here. Let's try... Let's try getting the beetle to fly all the way to that switch. A lot of things in the way. Ooh, more flooding. Oh, good. Now I can get up there. Alright, I'm gonna take a look at my map because... Okay, I want to go through this door, because it's just... It's just a room with a chest here. It's probably a... Q. 
key. Uh, and there is a spider. This one is not hanging from a web. Oh, okay. Hmm. Not, not sure what to do to it. Oh, there we go. We, we swing the, con the the sword upward, flip it onto its belly. Huh, clever. And okay, we need to go up to the second level to get all three of these eyes to focus on us. Come on, eyes. Hmm. Maybe not. Let's see. Ah, oh, okay. This we need to push down there. Yeah. And probably stand on it. And when we're standing on it, then all three eyes will see us. Not sure what I'm grabbing a hold of when I pull the boxes. They don't seem to really have handles. Okay, good. Yeah, it's not too hard as long as all three eyes can see you when you do nice, big, wide circles. Okay, treasure chest time. What did I tell you? Oh, I remember what I told you. That it would be a key. And now I'm glad I went that way first. Because I would have just gotten to the point where there was a locked door I couldn't get through and had to come back. Okay. Oh. Ah. Okay. Those guys are actually easier, way easier to kill that when they're on the ground like that. And we're taking a shortcut back to here. All right, let's see. Ooh, there's a heart right there. I'm gonna grab it with my cool grabber thing. Ooh, there's something up there. All the way up there. I need to hit that from the other side. The angle this thing can fly up at isn't very steep. Ah, uh, I thought it would be something optional. And it is optional, but very useful. You got a piece of heart. Collect four to increase your heart capacity by one. Two to go. 
Okay. Checking out my map. And I pretty much have to go to the right. Right there. There's my locked door. Whoa, hang on. Um. Let's go back for a second. I know what I have to do here. Chop, chop, chop. Let's chop these ones too. All right, maybe we can just avoid them. Come on. Man, we really have to tilt the Joy-Cons way over to the opposite direction to make it tilting. Okay, here's a bush. Ooh, with some hearts. Hiya! Hiya! Ooh, what the heck is this? It's a three headed something. It's a soul thing. Hmm. That was much less scary than it looked like it was. All I did was one good stab and got all three heads in one, in one go. Uh. And there doesn't seem to be anything else in this room except... Oh, wait. Let's see how high up I can get this thing to go. It's kind of a small room, so the... Yeah. Presumably that is daylight. So, like... This thing should be able to fly right out the roof. Okay, nice fluid movements. release my beetle and have him take care of this guy. <laughs> Poor spider fell down really far. Okay. So we got a switch. And okay, I understand what's going on here hit the switch first. Oh, you know what? We can hit that with the slingshot. Of course, if I use the beetle, I don't use any ammo, so that's more efficient. Although it takes longer, so it's really not more efficient. Okay. Uh, oh, that was just a shortcut back into this room. Cool. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, and now... Uh, I think I want my beetle. Hey, come on, beetle. Right, okay, that's right. If I hold ZR, then I can select different items. Oh, I forgot. That's the item I want. Okay. And I'll hit the other one. And we'll see 
We'll see if I can do anything to annoy this guy. Oh, I got him to... Now maybe I can knock him off of there. Haha! <laughs> oh wow. He didn't even fall, he just died. Or dematerialized, or whatever they do. Okay. And that's where a big key goes. This is some vines to climb. Don't know what's up here. I hear some rustling. Oh, that was me making the rustling. Uh, oh. Okay. Swing it forward. All right. Here. I think we're swinging all the way over to that chest, which probably contains the boss key for the big door. Wow. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Hey. What's in here? You got the golden carving. This strangely shaped gold sculpture is covered in mysterious patterns. And you know what this key is? Now I, I realize it's a puzzle that I have to rotate with motion controls. Another somewhat outdated type of puzzle. Well, not really outdated, just a lot less popular now than at, than it was at this time. Okay, what else? Is there anything else I should be paying attention to? There seems to be a treasure chest over there. You know, apparently Link is just really talented at tightrope walking, because this is very easy. <laughs> 20 more rupees! Awesome. I've almost recouped the cost of that shield that I haven't even used yet. By the way, I need to... Um... Yeah, equip it. There we go. Alright. Onto the boss. Okay, so I gotta grab this and rotate it, so. Right, okay, so I press A and I gotta rotate the control stick and then I release A and I can reposition the controller. Looks like it's something like that. No, it's more like, aha. There we go. Insert. It's an H. It's weird how these doors open by themselves like that. Like they're all a little bit haunted. Well, that's bright. Oh. 
Hello. You are very pale. Look who it is. I thought that tornado I stirred up would have tossed and torn you apart. Yet here you are, not in pieces. Not that your life or death has any consequence. It's just the girl that matters now, and I can sense her here, just beyond this door. Yes, we plucked her majesty from her perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. Oh, but listen to me, I'm being positively uncivil. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the demon lord who presides over this land you look down upon. This world you call the surface. You may call me Gilahim. In truth, I very much prefer to be indulged with my full title, Lord Girahim, but I'm not fussy. <laughs> Did you really just draw your sword, foolish boy? By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. She was nearly ours when that loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? Furious! Outraged! Sick with anger! This turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed! <laughs> Still, it hardly seems fair being of my position to take all of my anger out on you. Which is why I promise upfront not to murder you. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. <laughs> oh, looks like we have a, well, I was going to say a proper sword fight, but he's not even using a sword. And all he seems to be doing is holding his hand out in front of him. That's not very fun. Oh! Uh, okay. He just took my sword. Ha! Huh, quite the sword you have here. But so long as you telegraph your attacks like the notice novice you are, something something. Uh, okay. So he just threw my sword back. Uh, that was kind of him. Uh, alright. Let's try not to telegraph our attacks anymore. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay. Alright, so... I'll hold it over here and then come up from behind. Yeah, from below. Uh... Yeah, again, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Alright, I guess I'll just wait for him to throw it and block. Okay. Alright, so we're not telegraphing our movements. Oh. and then do that. Mm. Okay. Mm. 
Come up from below. Pretend we're coming up from below. Okay, alright. We'll do that. We'll just go all the way around. Hmm. I was starting to work. Okay, up. We'll try. Up and then down. No. Alright, this way. All the hmm. Hmm. Seems like we need to, him to get commit to uh, the guarding from one side and then attack on the other side. Okay. Oh, now he's got a sword. that attack next time. Oh. oh, okay, there we go. That's a good thing to do. I need to break one of these pots for some health. Okay, let's yeah reflect those back at him. All right, so we can just deflect sword attacks. I was super early with that. Ooh. Yeah. His attacks are pretty predictable. So. Whoops. That was not correct. Okay, come on. Alright. He oh. <sighs> waits so long. It throws me off the delay. Years. Okay. There we go. <laughs> All right. All right. Ah, gotcha. Well, you put up more fight than I would have thought possible out of such a soft boy. But don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sword of yours is the only reason you're still alive. Hmm, it says you still alive, but it should say your. I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence has all but faded from this place, which means there's no reason to linger here. Goodbye, Sky Child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again, though, and you're dead. <laughs> ah, and that's a full heart container. I didn't, uh, I didn't remember that the boss of this temple would be... Girahim. You got a heart container. Your life has increased by one. And is also now fully replenished. Cool.
funny. The guy... The guy admitted that he talked to me and teased me and toyed with me too long. But I'm pretty sure he does that same thing again and again. But it's nice, at least, to have a villain that admits that he talks too much and wastes time. Skyview Spring. Very nice and pretty area. Birds and stuff here. Weird fruits on those trees. Okay. Here what I need to do is raise my sword skyward. And make the bird icon come alive. Ah, now we have a solemn moment. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. From the edge of time I guide you, the one chosen to carry out the goddess's mission. The spirit maiden who descended from the clouds must travel to two sacred places to purify her body. You stand in one of those places, Skyview Spring. The other is known as the Earth Spring. The second spring is hidden away deep within the scorching earth of Elden. The spirit maiden, ever mindful of the heavy task entrusted to her, has set out for this second sacred place. Apparently the language of the gods, or the goddess or whatever, was dancing. You got the ruby tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. That description is familiar. Hmm. Almost like he's showing a tiny bit of emotion with that little nod. Master, as I just translated, it would appear that Zelda purified herself in the waters of this spring. I calculate a 97% chance that she has already set out for Elden, where another great spring exists. However, it is not clear what method of travel Zelda used to move from here to her next destination. My analysis suggests you should take the tablet to the altar in Skyloft. Doing so will likely open a new column of light on the surface allowing you to descend to another area and continue your search for Zelda. Let's return to the sky once more before continuing our search. The bird statue outside can take us back up. Oh, and we're just gonna disappear. Now we're outside the temple. And the Kikui wants to tell me something. Hey, it's it's me, Kui! Did you find the girl? Uh, who are you? What do you mean, who am I? Don't tell me you forgot your old buddy, Machai! Now I'm sad, Ku Kui. I'm so glad I've finally been reunited with my Kikui friends. It's all thanks to you, Kui! With any luck, hopefully you'll find that girl you've been searching for real soon. Koro Ku, take care, okay? Koroku? They haven't said that before. Maybe it's something they say when they're really happy. Koroku! 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 Okay. Gonna see if there's anything I can grab outside the temple here with my new beetle guy. Oh, there's a goddess cube right here. How do I get up here? I need to get up here. I probably need the hook shot.
Oh, something to climb right there. Maybe I can use that. How do I get up there? Probably, probably need the hook shot. Oh well, we'll come back here later with more stuff and do more stuff. Gonna take a quick look around the area to see if there's anything else we may be able to grab easily. Oh, like this treasure chest. Twenty rupees. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I better come back here later with more stuff. the sky well that was pretty fun Lord Girahim is an interesting enemy he's pretty easy to fight at this point but I think he gets harder probably have to have a rematch with him at some point. Okay, here we are at Skyloft. Um... just realized there's that floating shop that I should be able to go to now because I have the slingshot. Let's see if we can spot that. Hey, hey floating shop, come here. We got some fun stuff here. He's powering that thing with his legs. Wow. Oh, you come all this way. It's so rare to have a customer here. Beetle's Air Shop has everything you could ever want. Please take a look around. And if you actually buy something, that would be even better. Yeah, I'm going to probably buy something if it's affordable. That's a life medal! It bestows, it bestows a bunch of mysterious and mystical effects on whoever carries it. What kind of effects? Don't ask me. I don't actually know. You should find out for yourself. I'm pretty sure it's a real bargain at 800 rupees, though. How about it? Well, I don't have that much money. Oh, please take a look at the other things I have for sale. Okay, like this thing. Oh! I'll... That'll increase the number of items you can carry in your adventure pouch by one. It has to be the most useful thing imaginable for an adventure, and yet it costs a mere 300 rupees. No thanks. Still too rich for my blood. Uh, this looks like it might be useful also. Oh, an extra wallet. It's amazingly useful. With this, you can carry an extra 300 rupees in your wallet. 
Say goodbye to all those times you couldn't pick up another rupee because your wallet was stuffed full. Leave no rupee behind. Even you must be able to see just how useful this item is. And all for only 100 rupees. Wanna buy it? Yes. It's kind of regrettable that Link needs to have a wallet for his money. And yet he seems to have unlimited storage capacity for a lot of other things. Oh, thank you ever so much! You've been... You've given me the strength to keep paddling! And how about the bug net? That's a bug net! You know, for catching bugs? Insects, too! Okay, so there aren't so many bugs here, but you'll be able to catch tons with this when there are some! And at only 50 rupees, I'm sure you'll make a net profit. Wanna buy it? Yes, I do. You got the bug net. Use it to catch bugs and other small things. When you're hunting bugs, remember to approach quietly and strike quickly. That is a very important key item. Oh, thank you ever so much. You've given me the strength to keep pedaling. Okay. That guy's kind of annoying. All right. Now I better take... Where, where are we going? There. I better take the tablet thing back to the map and uh, unlock more map. Luckily, it looks like my shield hasn't taken that much more abuse since I got the new one. Inside the statue of the goddess. Okay, yeah, here's where I put the tablet. Looks like there's two more pieces, probably. Maybe just one big one. Just as Fi said, a new hole in the clouds. Master, I have confirmed the location of a second opening in the cloud barrier. It is located in the skies to the northeast. This opening will allow you to access a new area on the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as you complete necessary preparations. Excellent, excellent. Necessary preparations. Hmm. We'll see if the shops have any new stuff. Oh, this lady wants to tell me something. Kukio! Kukio! Where could that child have gone? Oh, Kukio, where did you go? What will I do if she's been kidnapped? Oh, Link! What perfect timing! You haven't seen my Kukiel, have you? Kuki who? Oh. My daughter! She's a little five-year-old girl. Please, Link, won't you help look for her? I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find her. I've asked everyone I could find for help, and a few people have said she's been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. Someone else even said they thought they'd seen her carried off by a monster. A monster! She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute and friendly. Someone must have just walked off with her. Find Kukio, please. Please? It breaks my heart to think she's somewhere out there, crying. Please, Link. You got it. Thank you! The Knight Academy should be proud to have a student like you. Please, find my daughter quickly. Hey! Okay. Hey! Hey! Alright, I think I will close out this video here. 
Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this series, um, please give this video a like and uh, subscribe to my channel to receive uh, notifications when new videos come out. Uh, it's free to subscribe here on YouTube, so uh, there's uh, you've really got nothing to lose. And again, thank you for watching. Meteor Bolt has struck.